Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Melanie. Today you're going to learn how to make a chicken poblano chili. This is my favorite recipe to use, and my favorite chili of all. Me and my mom, we tried it at a big chili cook-off, and we just loved it, and we found out how, we were trying to find out how to make it. Well, that was just chicken chili. This is poblano chicken chili. We decided to add a little kick and twist to it. Now, the poblano pepper is a, it is a pepper, but it's not spicy. It's got a smoky pepper flavor to it. Now how you're going to cut this is you're going to cut it straight down the middle. Then you're going to cut the ridge out. After you get the pepper cut, you're going to want to get all of the seeds out. The seeds are the hottest part of the pepper. And so if you don't get them out, it's not going to be great. If you get one of the seeds, you're really going to be sorry. Once you get all the seeds out, you're going to want to chop up your pepper. You want it finely chopped, not too small like it's pulverized, but not too big. You want it now you can do two poblano peppers, or you can do one, or you can do more than two. It doesn't matter. However you want it to be. Then you're going to chop one full small onion, and then you're going to have your ch chopped poblano peppers. Once these are chopped, you're going to go to a frying pan. You're going to start this on medium, high heat. You throw some olive oil in your pan. One teaspoon of garlic. And you're also going to add your poblano peppers. Your chopped onion. When your pan gets hot, you're going to want to cut up your chicken. Now you can do one pound of chicken or more. And you're just going to cut it up in bite-sized pieces. Not too big, not too small. After you get your chicken chopped up, you're going to go to your crock pot. You're going to add five to six cans of navy beans. Once you got your navy beans in there, you're going to add your chicken. Now this is a great meal to have where you can put it in the crock pot before you leave for work and come back home and it's ready after work. You don't have to wait so long for dinner to be fixed. Now, once your onions and peppers are done, you're going to throw it in your crock pot with your chicken and beans. along with two tablespoons of your favorite Southwest seasoning mixture. There's any kind on the market you can use, just pick your favorite. Then you're just going to mix it all up when everyth and everything's well combined. Just mix everything up, throw the lid on it, and cook it on low for five to six hours or until the chicken is cooked thoroughly. And that's how you make poblano chicken chili.